Have your names? Um, we're Esther and George Schneiderman. Schneiderman. Yeah, we live just about a mile down the road here, and we were here for the original love-making, peaceful peace love-making uh, festival. And now, of course, we were here when uh, they they had the 20th, and it was pretty filled up, but this, I think, is going to be a very, very quiet... Uh, well, hopefully it's quiet and civilized. Civilized, and I 25 think... 25 years ago was a little wild. I think today... The, they're, but they had a good time. The, little, the people that are going to come are a little bit more uh, uh, smarter than they were years ago. There may be some drugs and some things, but I don't think it'll be at all, at all, like it was 25 years ago. And I really think that everything would have been fine if the town, the, the town of Bethel, would have done a little bit more homework and really was able to get this thing off the ground so that Sullivan County and the town of Bethel could have made some money and benefited from this beautiful thing because the county is in dire need of money. So let's just hope that this thing goes off okay without too many problems. So what did you think about the first one? I mean, you guys have a lot of problems. On well, the first one? well, with the first one, there were a lot of drug problems, and uh, uh, people were. Yeah, they were young. Uh, were Twenty-five wild. days younger. And they got. They were very, very young kids, and drugs was. Uh, drugs is bad now, but I think it was worse then. And. Um, I think they quieted down a lot. I think we're going to get an older, an older uh, group of people here this year, this time. So we shall see. Only time will tell. Let's hope, let's hope there are no problems. Yeah. So what have you heard about this show so far? I mean, why well, do you think it's going to be big? Well, from, what, than... well, from what we hear, what we read, and uh, from talk, uh, especially now that it's not even going to cost anything, a lot of the entertainers are going to come anyway, and they're going to put on their own show, and I really think that it's, it's going to be a real good happening. I have really good vibes about it. I think everybody is a little bit more civilized now and realizes what went on 25 years ago and they know how to act accordingly this time. So we hope there won't be any problems and everybody will just have a good time. And hopefully uh, next, year, uh, next year we have a 26th anniversary. <laughs> how do you spell your last name? S-C-H-N-E-I-D-E-R-M-A-N. All right. Okay. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Hold the rest of you to do is move a little bit. 
And nobody wants to move. I don't think this is what this is about. I thought this was all collaborating together so this could be fun and prosperous for everybody. This is not New York City. You got any money? You should go to Sorbonne. Don't worry, nobody's buying your junk. So I see ya. See ya. I hate to be ya. That's right, we'd hate to be you when you leave. I still love Easter, baby. Come on, we just spread the word. Nobody buy anything from Easter. He can't be calm. I ain't gonna be here. All we're doing is asking to keep the same fire spot. That's all. He was willing to. There's no reason to make this kind of a head. And this guy over here was here over a little bit. First come, first come. Let's look at it. Nobody's trying to get, you know. Well, let me read it to you. Agreement made this 9th day of August, 1994, between Universal Design. Uh, put the stage area too. Civility Inc. just so was put, formed hey, yesterday. He, he That's the corporation of this down company. The stage when so the you're stage talking about yesterday, this contract. Just you don't have to read the whole thing. Just wait, point wait, out wait. where it says Civility it has to Inc. Be this particular you know who spot. Civility Inc. is? No, right? No, Civility no, Inc. Is yes, putting on this yes. thing. Yes. I'm no, trying no, to get a hold of this. No, it's not. Nobody is putting this on. There is there. Whoa, whoa, whoa! There are backers. Leon Greenberg, Sid Bernstein, and Billy Driscoll are putting this on. Take the fucking phone, and that's it. Unofficially. What's up? Yeah, there's, there's sound coming. There's all kinds of people coming, but, but so well, the I don't understand why you just can't come on and move over. Excuse me one second. Excuse me one second. The reason the sound is coming, the reason the lights are going to go up again, the reason that the stage is going to go up is because I laid 20 grand in their hands. That's why. And here, there's 10 here, and when Billy gets here, you can ask him if I laid another 10 on him. Go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Asking, That's you're why the music denying is coming. You're right. Nobody's denying your so right. I know you're not denying. So, they're, just asking, they're just asking you politely me to second. move a few Excuse feet out of, the way out of their fire pit. Great. The other thing is this. There's the money next to the monument. Yes. I got to be next to it. I understand that. Be on I'm the other side. I'm sorry about that, but I got to Go be hassle the those side. guys. Move the station wagon out of the way for you. I got to be If you have a contract, you have a contract. There's, right. there's, there's another you side to the monument. You move him. I don't want to move him. I'm a capitalist. I don't like to move capitalists. Oh, so you'll move, you know what I'm you'll saying? move us instead? I don't, I don't want to move you either. Well, you just I just did. want to set you up and chill out. You just did. You, you just moved the fire out of the way. You're making us move. Um, so why don't you move the fire someplace else? We, right. we have been here for What's five years. What's sacred about it? Been Tell been me. Here for years. Years. The land is sacred? Yes, Tell me that's, why. That's, Tell me why. You don't understand. I know. Try to make me. I'm pretty open. Right, it's possible to make your mentality. Why? Tell me what's sacred about it, please. It's, it's the, the same land. It's been here. It's the same thing. It's like anything else is sacred. What do you hold sacred besides, you know, you hold this sacred, right? You hold this sacred. That's why you have to have this spot. I'm gonna have to have three okay. other spots too. Okay, you, have, you know what I'm saying? Spots. So what's you have your problem with that? Spot. My problem is, yeah. is you can have your spot as close to the monument as you want, want on the other side here. of it. You want lights, you want sanitation, you want hospitalization. We've done this before and we've got this. I know, stuff. but there's a lot of people coming also this time. You have to have helicopters, you gotta have an ambulance coming down. So what does so that have, what does it has to do with on this side my bread providing that? So that gives me the right to sell. You'll be successful. We're not denying you a right to sell. Sell, right? Let me talk to sell here. Where? Where? This man is selling right there. Where were you there? Where did they say you could go? Who's they? Not the kind of thing. We're trying to protect your tent. Oh man! Let's do it. Anytime you guys are ready. You want to get? Nobody wants to burn you. Nobody wants a war, and nobody, nobody, you know. I don't think threatening is really the way to do it. They're asking you politely that you have just burn if people are politely asking you to do something. Burn my tent. Nobody wants to burn your tent. I'm waiting. No, well, hold your breath. Why don't you? It'll help. <laughs> I mean, don't now. Nobody, nobody wants a war. They're just asking you politely. Wait, nobody wants a war. He's saying his tent. Don't mind. One thing I'll tell you. He's not tent. Don't mind. Nobody, don't mind. nobody wants a war. Good. Good. Do it, please. I need one. Brother, where can you put? No, I'm married now. I'm trying to get him. Hello. If you put him in the fire. Yes, sir. 
Seth, I need you down there. Just, just you got the uh, Woodstock people. I don't know who this guy is. Yeah. Yeah. It's a visual thing, man. You can look at what's going on behind us. Both of you, if you want to. Is anything? What's your name? Uh, my name's Jim. Jim Hawk. Okay, spell last name. H A W K E. Okay, what's this? What's this fire over here? What's what, going on? Well, we had had a sacred fire here that that was going to be an eternal flame from the beginning of this till the till it ended. And uh, well, obviously it's put out now. And uh, we have we have a man here who works for Sid Bernstein, who has who got the okay by Sid to to put up vending tents. Oh, they, they, we don't have any problem with them putting up their tents anywhere. We just have a problem with them putting it up here. This is a sacred spot to us. It's right by the monument. You know, when, when people come to see this monument right here, we don't want them to see signs of capitalism and greed right next to that site, which, which perfectly spells out freedom, you know? What we're about is misfit power, you know? That's what we're about. And, uh, you know, this... Uh, I, I don't have any problem with people making money. There's no problem with making money, but uh, you know, there, there's a time and a place for everything, and this is not the place for that. Right on. You know, you know, uh, the time is okay. I, I'm not worried about time. They can move their tent that way. They can move their tent up the way, but uh, we want our fire. yeah, we, we want our sacred fire, fire back, right and, and they took it away from us. Right. They, right. they took our fire away from us. Right. And, uh, I want to say one thing, brother. The price of liberty is eternal vigilance, and this fire to us is a sign of that vigilance vigilance and we'd like to maintain our sacred fire here as we have for the last 25 years brothers and sisters in TV land and elsewhere yes so yeah uh, I, I, I couldn't put it Can any better you explain better. a little bit about you know, this is this it right is, here the cap capitalism versus oh yeah all right I'd like to Let say just get, oh, yeah just stay, stay okay. one place all right here we go let me okay. give her a full sweet face all right okay you can pull your hat back and move it yeah, okay. Oh, there you go. okay okay well this right here I'm on the Woodstock site right now uh, Woodstock uh, in uh, Bethel, New York. And right now, uh, this is a sacred fire. And this is the tent where they plan to sell t-shirts for $5. Uh, what we're looking at here is a conflictual situation between the fire, our eternal, uh, eternal fire, our sacred fire, and a gentleman who would like to put up his tent to sell $5 t-shirts. This, is a, this right here is the microcosm of what's happening in the world world on a, a larger scale in the macrocosm. Uh, commercialism versus sacredness. We're trying to explain to this vendor that this fire is sacred. He has no conception of that. And he is being very, very vigilant in his own way about maintaining his commercial uh, setting here. And hopefully we can resolve this and we can maintain our sacred fire that, throughout the rest of the, um, the gathering here. Thank you. I just take the wagon, I'll move it right out of the way, and I'll put it right over here. Put it right here. If I put the wagon right here, it's out of the way of the monument. Everybody can do their shooting. That's fine. Bang. Put it right there. Wayne, the tent is going here. All right. The guy can put the paint tent right over there, too. Right here. Let me say this, okay? You did that, and I appreciate it. All right. This kid gave us a fortune to help make this thing go. Okay. So we're going to be considered, let's be considered everybody. Okay, All you right. understand? I'm not trying to give you a hard time. I'm trying to be with you. All right. I just figured if I moved it out of the way over here, I'd be out of, you know, I'd be out of the way. I'd still give him enough room for his tent, too. 
Where's your guys? Where's your guys? Let's go. Finishing up. They're going to come out. We're staying all over. We already have our tent. This is the best. Where? Right on the ground. Patrick. All that rope is coming in. Right across the table. We've got a walk down the aisle. Jumped off the road. Right here. You tried to have it. Yeah. Jumped off the truck. No, 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 no. This station wing. That's a word about the truck. I think the right one. You want to move? I got more for you. How much? You know, I'm not going to ask you how much money this guy gave. Well, here, let me say something. Nobody said you want to put I'm going to give him that prime location because he's a nice kid. Why would I do that? Explain to me. I mean, you're here to make a buck. What are we here for? Well, we got a quarter of a million invested in the ground. For goodness sake. Well, tell me where you want me to go. As long as I, I want you to go where you're, where you're set up. That's why I'm trying to do I'm trying to protect this. I'm trying to make go there if you want that. Go here if you want here. I'd rather have right here. Then let's do that. Let's do that. That's what I want to do. That's well, what then I who said no? Nobody said no, All but right. you started changing it around, Wayne. Let's live with what we live with. All Where's right, well, Eric? don't. You come back yet? I'm trying to get a I'll set up right here. Up. Right over here. You think I'm going to say I mean, he's right down the road, crazy. Yeah. You know? Oh, my God. You know, this is the challenge to not everybody. Yeah, you know, like some, some angle that they're working from. You know, you know what? How come? Yeah. If more people thought so like we did. Could, could I, could I, I say I, something? I have God. Man. I have God with me. You know? I That's how I have my God. Can I say something? Can I say something, please? I, I think that I think scam was I, maybe a little strong word. Maybe motivation. Your motivation. Somebody has a motive it, for what they're doing. Yeah, and well, it's mostly mostly Motiv money motive. oriented though. Well, yeah, I mean, money is okay. Money is okay. Lust for money. There's the, you know that there, there you're getting you know. Like, it's not much. Yeah, but it's, it's wonderful. It's, I got two daughters. I have a grandson. I have a grandson that takes a lot of money because he has a medical problem, and I pay that. In and that kind of situation, oh, that's the cool. situation. Brother, brother. I've got a quarter of a million dollars invested here in this town. Uh, so we're know, trying to make money. We're not trying to be nasty. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. I know. I, I, know. I, know. I don't have any problems with people making money. This man came at my request. Operation. He didn't need me. Yeah. Yeah. I needed him. He came at my request. Right. So please don't cool. don't don't wear it down on him about how he's making a buck. He no, I was just telling you because he thought I was trying to make a buck like some of that or whatever. I said, I have no I angle here, you know, and <laughs> that's well, maybe, what it is. Maybe you know? I was on You know, I, I have no angle here, you know. Okay, brother, this isn't an angle. This is an honest to God business. Oh, has, yeah, I understand. This man has a lot of yeah, we, no, we, yeah, we, oh, yeah, we, yeah, I know that. Where is he? We wanted him to have this. We never said we wanted to have a t-shirt. We just didn't want to take his fire. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, we're going to move from there to Sacred Fire. It's not the Sacred Fire. It's done now. Don. Dan, yeah. Danny told me that's done. Now you're going to cover up the pit. That's Why done. should we cover up the pit? I didn't cover it up. Ask Danny. There's Darling. another he pit. Said, Hold on. Yeah. Ask well, Danny. We're digging we're digging a new one. They're making a new one. Why should we make a new one? That is that's what he's doing. Order. That's what he's doing. That's that's what he's doing. Well, you fire, understand brother. tradition and things like that, right? That's that that fire is that fire is been here every year. I didn't ask Danny. I didn't ask Danny. Listen, well, guys, hey, hey, that this is. This is no time for a public demonstration. We're trying to get it set for peace, love, yeah, and music. I'm just trying to, like, you know, get this, you know, Wait, 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 wait. Listen, Jesus I lit that fire. I've lit many fires, and I put it out. I have a fire inside me. I'm not right going to get superstitious, man. I focus on wanna... that. It teaches me lessons. Right on, man. Civility is the key word that Sig wants all of us to good. remember, and then we're helping him. We're really his volunteers. And so, what's right, wrong Daniel. with I, just I understand, musical yeah, chairs? Yeah. We've been talking the last few days. Right. You know? so let's be civil. Thank you. This is the generic model, of course. The, the festival edition is the purple one, but they both work exactly the same. The idea is you provide the energy and the skill, and the top goes forever. 
sort of like a hula hoop for the hands. However, you can't do a hula hoop in the back seat of a car, can you? Well, we got the guy to move his tent over here, I said, but the fact of the matter is, is I don't care if he sells a million t-shirts as long as he's not blocking the field. So, you know, it's a, it's a victory for the people, for him too. A lot of people are going to buy his t-shirts now that he cooperated. You know, if he'd stayed over there, it would have been a real problem for him. No real problem. <laughs> we love you. Gail. Abigail? Yeah, Abigail Storm. Uh, A B I G A I L. All right. No, hit that spike. Hit it. It's the camera. I'm shy. Teamwork, bro. One more. So let's let it put yeah, together. If this stage breaks down, it, everybody helps one another, and you work together that way. I think two stages down there is a good idea. I let all the camp and everything go back out there. Okay. Just have people, music on the bowl. People and music on the bowl. We got to get some. Stage. Keep all the vehicles out of the way. Let the vending and the people stay up around this area. And let let the small Woodstock have a right there. there but... you know I never really met you formally till today. Sorry about I think it's a good idea. Yeah. I think it's a good idea. Yeah, I do. You put, I missed you a long time ago here. Yeah. Well, you I you put... Ask for your tax number. I'll tell you the truth. I don't have mine with me. Jill's got it, so I just showed him I bought it up and I walked away. He wrote down some information. They'll get in touch with you when it's all over with. You know what I mean? They charge you a little couple extra bucks. Well, it boils down. It's just a bunch of nonsense. Are you recording me? <laughs> a bunch of nonsense, you know, Jesus Christ, if they'd have done it right, this county could have enough money to relax itself for a hell of a while. Oh, yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> As usual. You collect it? Yeah. No, no, there's no way of knowing what we, we have no connection with them. No connection. Well, really if they're charging that much for the permit, I would think that mine would be, but that's yeah. just guesswork. Yeah. No way of knowing. All right. I mean, health department, I'd say, is pretty certain. <laughs> yeah, if you're selling food. No, I'm sure the Sullivan County Health Department will be around. Right. But, uh... But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> sure, that's hey, what they all say. You guys from Disney? No. Where do you, your tax? Your tax and finance, Binghamton. So where are you out of? You out of? Out of Binghamton office. But uh, we represent the New York State Tax Department. Okay, so it's New York State Tax Department. Right. So, um, you don't have anything to do with it? No, not 
Okay. Nothing. Sure. That's fashionable. Somebody else down there. Water? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Right down there. Well, let me see that for a second, anyway, if you don't mind. Yeah. Well, I'd love to stay. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you? It didn't exactly come prepared. <laughs> really? Well, no place Once to we stay. get this done, we fly out to Kansas City. I'd love to. All right, let's move on. Smile. Hey, you got any change to help me fix Here's my car, you dude? Later, later, later. <laughs> no, Ooh, you have some car. change. You can sell this. Yeah, I'm I know. That's what I'm trying to fix my car. So what happened? I broke. I hit a school bus that on the way here. We also I found wrecked it pretty good. So I'm trying to collect recycling and so I can fix my vehicle. Uh, we didn't have a little change with you, anything? We found that on open in the... In the Which station? Oh. Yeah. We're watching the cans. Two bears, see? That's a nice one with the cans. That's very good. Just, go away from the cans. It's not even nice. Oh, don't make an ass of yourself. There you go. There you go. So you had your finger over the, the lens. I don't know how to work this. <laughs> okay, wait. I think I got it. Thank you. How do you use? Hi. I just got an unbelievable picture of that guy. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> um, where are you from? I'm from California. Sausalito. Why did you come all the way out here? My girlfriend uh, was here 25 years ago. She wanted to come back, so I brought her back in my old Chevy. Did, uh, did you want no, we were going, but we're not now. So you had a good time? Comfortable. Good neighbors. <laughs> okay, how long did you get over here? Uh, we drove uh, three days from California to get to Missouri to see my folks there. And then uh, another two days to get here. It's your car? Yes. And you really want to know? Yeah, what's your, what's your name? Guinevere Meredith. What? M E R E D I T H. What do I do? I'm a doctor. <laughs> yeah. And um, why? Why am I here at Woodstock? Well, because this is the real Woodstock. This is this is where the mudslide was. This is Woodstock. Woodstock is not in Saugerties with the porno pyros for porno. Fire. And Metallica, I wouldn't watch that if you paid me. I mean, $135 a ticket, you've got to be joking. 3,500 security guards, no thank you. Pepsi, I like Coke. <laughs> so that's why I'm here. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, my name's Richard Watson, yeah? I'm from um, London, England, yeah? And I'm here to hook it up to do Woodstock, yeah? Why did you come up with me? Um, well, it's, it's, it's what, the 25 years anniversary of it, so, and I mean, it's a worldwide thing, everyone knows about it all over the world, so, Spangler decided to get on a plane and come out here and play, yeah? And so that's why we're here, yeah? To do it. Just join in with, with the vibe and just do it, you know what I mean, yes? It's the way it's got to be done, yeah? So, this is it, man. Yeah. 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 That's his name. 
for today. That's what I gave the guy. It's in his name. This is a cool idea. John Ellsworth. Coming, what's going on? E-double-L-S-W-R-T-H. What's going on here? Uh, we're doing a movie to be released for the Christmas season called Woodstock Revisited, in which this young lady plays someone who was conceived backstage at Woodstock and meets up with Teresa here, who is a reporter from KRON-TV in San Francisco. And they get here to find the festival is canceled, and we follow her adventures and flashbacks from what her parents told her when they attended the original Woodstock. What happened? Turn around. Of you. Just act like you were talking to her back. Right. 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 You know what? Get over with her one. You want to grab me? Say it. Who wants to get you on film? George, you have right. tape? Yeah. Yeah, Can you sign this? Start again. Sorry. Think again. Wait five Please. seconds. After I say go, go. Can you sign this? Traffic. It's 
going to come into the fold over the next few days. We've got a week yet before this is over, and it may be even longer. So, yeah, before it starts. So the point is, is that we need everybody's help. Nobody should be can see anybody driving down into the bowl in their vehicle. Get on them right away. Take another person with you. Say, well, keep on moving. Nobody should be can be parked up there. You're going to park up there. Be in person. Did you, uh, you donated this hay? Huh? Did you do donate this hay? Or? No, we're, we're facilitating no, the local. No, I'm, I'm a poor farmer, so. We're, we're, through the generosity of the people here. We're... Okay. smoking where this hay deal is going down. It's going to suck up the mud, it'll lock up, it'll get hard, but we got to keep the cigarettes back and away from it. Of course, if everybody can get the word out that we need to keep the field free of cars, so that if uh, some additional people have to stop by the site, we'll have where to put them out in that field. That would be really cool. Again, let's keep the cigarettes away from the hay. Thank you. We're going to do a couple of performances, we're going to get the stage in here, we're going to need some carpenters, and uh, we're going to rock and roll. So for now, we're in a holding pattern. Don't forget to pick up all the beer cans that you've been doing, the place looks good. The world is watching. We built it. They're coming. Standing by.
in a million years. 
this exactly the same time Saturday afternoon, the same lightning storm comes in and makes the same mudslide. Same mudslide, same people 25 years later. You couldn't have paid for this. It, you couldn't have paid anything for this. This is unfoldment at its finest. And you were here before. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. The, the real mudslide, the original one is right there where we kept that runway clear. See that clear runway right there all the way up? That's the original one, but this one, it's not wet enough yet. But this is great, this is perfect. This is it. Yeah, salvation I'll be able to open up and show how much I love my brothers and sisters. Just like the sky today, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We start playing that. Yeah. It always happens. It always like rains. That. Rainbow gatherings, I'd say four or five days out of seven it's raining. <laughs> it's the electric energy. Yeah, it's so right, much. Right. It's so much joy. All right. How's it going? Pretty good. How you doing, man? Not bad. Bone dry in here. A little cold? Oh yeah, just a little bit, man. <laughs> just a little bit, too. I got a free beer. Out of so where, where are you going to get cleaned up at? Oh, we're going to go out in the lake, man. River down there. Rinse off. <laughs> or if it rains again, you know. <laughs> Come here. See what happens, man. I want to help you. <laughs> How you doing? Hi. 
What brings you? Uh, are you having a good time? Is yeah, I'm having a good time. It's great. Okay. What are you doing? Just taking pictures? Yeah, I just well, I work for a t local television station, and I just came out here, not for this local, but one in near Chicago. And I thought I'd just come out here on vacation and then just do That's a story great. when I get back. That's great. Yeah. So, what do you think of the 25th anniversary so far? I'm having fun. It's raining and uh, these people sliding in mud, and we're getting the stage built, and we're gonna get to play sometime tonight, or maybe early tomorrow morning. And I'm looking forward to it. I love it because it's unorganized, you know? It's a lot of people think you have to organize something and everybody's got to know what they're doing and that's the only way to do things. But, you know, the truth is this is a lot more fun. So, we're doing this. Nobody... I mean, people just sort of semi-organize themselves, and how it's great. Be, how many people would you estimate are here today? Well, there was about 25,000 people here earlier, and uh, and they're still streaming in. So maybe by uh, Tuesday or Wednesday, it could be a sizable herd of people around here. So it's going to go all the way through Wednesday because those are the original dates? Or? I guess so. I'm not really sure. I can't be here for that whole time, so we just showed up for today and maybe parts of tomorrow, and then we got to run. All right. Uh, anytime you're playing around Boston, or you like to do an interview or anything like that, feel free to get in touch. We're here. It's not a commercial video. You can say anything you want, as long as you want. Uh, I, whatever. It's um, it's an alternative 60 show kind of thing. Really glad to see you again. Thank you. I'm to Norman Cock, Norman. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first man of Woodstock. Actually, the second of the first. Let's get everybody else up here in the wedding party and let's roll this. He's here. We gotta roll. Oh, we left out somebody's name is Charles Sch Schwamberger. He's right here, Psychedelic Charles. Let's have a big hand. I knew him when he was a little boy. In the presence of this company, to join this man and this woman in the bonds of lawful matrimony, which is an honorable estate, not to be entered into lightly or run advisedly, but reverently, discreetly, upon sober and mature consideration, <laughs> having in mind the holy nature of the bond to be assumed. And so just cause, while they may not be lawfully joined together, let them now speak. I you know of any impediment why you should not be lawfully joined together in matrimony, you're now confessing. Charles Schwamberger, do you take Christy Giacalone to be your wedded wife? To live together in the ordinances and state of matrimony, will you love her, comfort her, honor, and keep her in sickness? To live together in the ordinances and state of matrimony, will you love him, comfort him, 
honor and keep him in sickness and... Charles, take the Christy... Take the J Christy Jackaloon to be my... Inasmuch as Charles and Christy have been joined together in lawful wedlock and have witnessed the same before this company, and boy, what a company! I'm not allowed to have anything but... Hi. Hi, how are you? Like yeah. Yeah. I was back here five years ago, but uh, it's not exactly like this. Stand, stand right over here, of course. Great, thank you. Tell me what it's like to be back here. It's <laughs> our 25th anniversary. Are you looking forward to this? Uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward. It's, um, it's a whole different vibe now, of course, but uh, people are the same. You know, um, they come for, uh, to pay homage to people who are no longer with us. They come to celebrate something, a philosophy, a spirit, humanity, and um, we're here doing it. I'm going to perform here at the real site. All right, thanks very much. Okay. Thank you. Hey, nice to see you. Thank you for coming. Welcome. <laughs> Without a doubt. Is that a still shot of you? Sure. Would you mind if we use the background of that colorful truck? Uh, not yet. You might not remember, but you're going over your music and yeah, asking yeah. our opinion. Do you yeah, know? Yeah. Yeah. You're going to do that vegetarian song? Oh, maybe, yeah, yeah. Okay, take Melody care, drive safely. The Wavy Grim signed this? Wow. Jefferson Airplane and Richie Havens. Maybe you sign over there? Put the date on it. Love you. Love you. You know, you, when you did when you did candles in the rain, you were just I think it was watching this place. You and your husband were reading them, barely reading them or something. You hadn't learned the word yet. <laughs> sound console, I just want to be able to let everybody know where we're at. We're at getting started, that's where we're at. We've got Melanie in dressing room one, she's just freshening up, and uh, it's ironic, I mean, here it is, 94, 25 years later, and I tell you, Melanie's here first, and we're just going to just do it, I tell you, that's what we've been doing all day, just doing it. Uh, it's enough makeup, Melanie, come on, we want to hear you. Come well, on, take your wife. You need your Volvos. I got it. I got it. Can you use those Volvos? All right. Yeah. Make sure that's fine. Okay, one more time. I'd like to remind you. We made all this hay, but it's flammable. No smoking on the hay, please. No smoking on the hay. It's for safety purposes. Okay, we're going. Oh, could you get me that Snapple, please, Wilma? I'm dying. It's my Snapple.
Woodstock, it was called um, The Good Book. And it was, uh, well, here it is. Oh, wait, no, wait. What key do I just miss that? Welcome home, Melanie. Melanie. Welcome check, home. Just get your levels. This is a sound check. <laughs> nice. It's beautiful. Of the monitor, not out of the sound. They need to hear it. I mean, I wasn't even really close to it. No, it was the dobro. I'm sorry, thanks. A vintage song. Step inside the 
shoes I walked in. The green may have the yellow But the music will remember In the summer I'll love In the summer I'll love oh, 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 oh. In the summer I'll When we kissed and loved a stranger And we asked our silly questions What if they gave a war and nobody came? On a hillside There was magic in the moment It's a farmland that lies fallow
key or someone else's. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the theories of Freud. He has taught me all the evils that my ego must avoid. Repression of the impulses results in paranoid. Masochism, the vagaries of sex Have turned half our population Into total nervous wrecks But your analyst will cure you Long as you can pay the checks As the end goes marching on and pains that you can't understand. Compound fractures, ingrown toenails, floating kidneys, trembling hands. Anybody? There's a secret to your trouble. His friends to him were all superior And this complex he imagined Made life drearier and drearier Till his analyst assured him That he really was inferior As he did Psyche tries to hide. A thing is a phallic symbol if it's longer than it's wide. Has the head goes marching on. Da -da 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 -da. Record. <laughs> it was really embarrassing. 
person. <laughs> and I really didn't mean it. <laughs> so anyone who holds it against me, I want you to know that. <laughs> I tried to live it down. <laughs> See, when I wrote this song, I kind of pictured it as a Cajun swamp thing. Leon Redbone, you know. And then I went into the recording studio and my husband, producer, put this arrangement on it and um, it became a hit record. And it became something I felt I had to live down almost, you know? Because at the time it really, I was young and I wanted to be considered a... a, a, a Um, this song um, today. I expect I'll be doing it two or three more times. Just because, just because, you know, this is the song I wrote after I, I left uh, the original Woodstock in 69. Uh, and um, I always wanted, uh, I had the Edwin Hawkins singers as the chorus in this song. I always, you know, fantasized that I'd get it uh, in front of people and everybody would sing it. but. I guess, I don't know, it's just like not a real big sing-along type song or else other people don't fantasize that they're the Edwin Hawkins singers. But uh, I'm, I'm going to ask you to try hard starting now to just you know, like be the Edwin Hawkins singers a little bit and uh, before this is all over, sing the chorus with me. We were so close, there was no room. We fled inside each other's wounds. We all had caught the same disease, and we all sang the songs of peace. Some came to sing, some came to pray, some came to keep the dark away. Lay down, lay down, lay it all down, let your white bird smile up at the ones who stand. Brothers, I heard him say. 
candles in the rain. To be there was to remember, so I'll lay it down again. I'm gonna lay it down one more time. Lay it down, lay it down again. I think that men can love as brothers. Candles in the rain. Kicking it off. Thanks for getting us started. That was great. That was great. Twice in a lifetime, Melody. Awesome. Three times for correction. Three times we did do the 20th. That's correct. No help from my friends. Oh Lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz?
better. Peace, love, and smoke pot. Better than that. 500 bucks. If you have any plans of leaving the site and going and getting anything and coming back, the opportunities are almost zilch. So you guys have got to be aware of the fact that traffic is now closed. We can't have people coming and going from the site. It's going to completely confuse everything. So if you had any plans of going off the site and getting something that you need, you better do it. You better do it and then make arrangements at the gate. Tell them you're going and you're going to come back. You know, but you're doing it at your own peril. Just be aware of the fact that we're, we're going into an emergency situation. No emergency though, you know. We're all here having a great time. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? Yeah. Who is that? So listen, our sa your safety is our concern. So, you know, cook in, kick into automatic, go into your prayer, or whatever mode you want to go into, because a lot of people want to be here. Now understand this. The site is not closed to foot traffic. We're, try we're hoping that alternative sites are opening up for parking, and then people will be able to walk onto the site. So you do have the freedom to come and go with your bodies, but you can't come and go with your cars as easily as you could before. You we just want you to be aware of it. We got a circle forming over here for the Rainbow Council or the Woodstock Nation Council, whatever you want to. Rob Siegel, if you're up there on the, on the hill, come down. We need to open your truck to start setting up the lights. Rob Siegel. I once smoked marijuana. 
marijuana, but now I just drink the mood. All my old friends avoid me because they think I'm so untrue. All you yuppies make me madder than the folks who never knew. You've known the truth and turned your backs because you cared more about you. I used to be a hippie, the high class yuppie cries, but real hippie folks stay hippie till the day that hippie dies. Jilly Lane, thank you very much. Okay, we're still missing a set of car keys. They're hooked to a low jack beeper. The wow. Snoogle and Purvis that lives in and oh, thrives in Fort Ward in Fort Purvis. This was written for a couple of mischievous kids. They're not really bad kids, they just seem to get in trouble every now and then. I suppose that you've heard of the Snoogle and Purvis that lives in and thrives in Fort Ward in Fort Purvis. Well, he walks only in circles. family here, I just want to say a quick word before I introduce someone very dear to all of us. My father and I and everyone want
wants you to understand one thing. If you're not an audience, you're participants in something greater than music. Just a moment. I just want to take a moment while we're here this evening, not just to welcome y'all, but to remind you that there's a lot of music going on in this part of the world tonight. A lot of people have gone to concerts, but you've done more than that. You've come not knowing if there was going to be a show or what. You've come because of who you are and what this means to be here. We live in a world sometimes that doesn't want to recognize who we are. We live in a world where people want to orchestrate and control. And so far this has been a most wonderful time because there's been people putting this show together with no controls, with nobody telling them what to do but no one them telling them who they've got to be or what they've got to think or how much they've got to spend. This is a tribute to what, this is a tribute to what a lot of people have worked very hard for. We've made this a sacred spot. I don't mean just a physical spot. I mean a spot, a place in your hearts that will remain sacred forever. We didn't do it this year, we didn't do it last year. We've been doing it year after year for many years. And so I'm just gonna say those few words. It's really been fabulous to see you all again. I look forward to playing for you a little later. And meanwhile, somebody handed me a note without realizing that I can't read. Okay. Nina Lindsay, you need to come backstage. Some people need to talk to you for a second. Other than that, let's just treat each other nice. Take care of each other. Clean the place up when you can see in the daylight. Let's just take it easy. Enjoy ourselves for the next few days. We're all going to be here getting wet or dry or whatever it is. I want to introduce you to a dear friend of mine. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Melanie. for people of all time, of all ages, of all persuasions, all directions. And so, uh, just to make sure things are working, we'll kick things off here. 
This is a band that I've been working with. My son is in this band. I won't tell you which one. I'm not going to introduce everybody, but they're going to play for you a little bit, make sure things are working. I'll be up here in just a couple of minutes. I'll join them. And then for the rest of the night, I, feel, I hope things will go pretty smooth. So enjoy. This is the band Xavier. As soon as we're ready, we'll, they'll start playing for you. Follow 